Hi, it's Hillary. I am here in my studio in LA. Thank you for joining me today. So today I want to just start off with a little Kathy Grant work. And if you don't know about Kathy Grant, feel free to reach out and I will tell you all about her. She studied with Joseph Pilates. Anyway, we're going to start with what's called pistons. And then we're going to do a few of the mat in a traditional order that kind of applies to what we're trying to connect with. So what I want you to do is just lie on your back. All you need today is a mat. That's it. A mat and you. So lie on your back, arms at your side. And I want you to just feel where you are on your mat. I want you to feel where your back is from your low back to your middle back to your shoulders, your feet, your arms. And I want you to really pay attention to how your hips are connected to your mat. And what we're going to do is called piston legs. So what I want you to think about is that lower part of your leg is just dead weight. And we're just really moving our top part of our leg. And I want you to keep your back exactly where it is. So it might take a minute to figure this out. I want you to press more into your right foot than your left and just lift the left leg, bringing that leg towards you where you can without anything changing in your back on your mat. And then lower back down. So you're gonna to have to start to figure out how do I keep that back from arching as I lower, especially that last little inch there. That's the hard part. Now press into your left leg and we'll just lift the right. And you're just breathing normally. And I want you to just feel, especially as you do that initial lift and that little press back down, your weight kind of wants to shift in your hips. Maybe you wanna kind of curl up that upper just kind of figure out what do I need to connect to my mat more to keep everything the same as I switch and alternate this lift and lower of my feet. And kind of really think about pressing into the foot that's on the floor as you do these piston legs. Breathing through. Keep going. We're going to kind of add into this a little bit and kind of feel what do you need to kind of do to yourself to keep everything from getting lost. So let's try both. Are you ready? Let's go ahead. Take the left up again. Let it stay here. Can you keep everything? Woo, and lift the right. Yeah, and then lower the left. Again, keeping everything where it is and then the right. Again, not letting anything shift. Then we'll pick up the right, keep it there, and then the left. And then the right will come down, and then the left. Nice. Now, bring those feet together. Let's see how this goes. Can you lift both? So really engage what you need to engage. Whoa, and picking up both. And you're just trying to keep the back where it is, keeping the connection of both hips, lowering, lowering. I know you feel it. Do one more here. I want you to remember what this feels like because we're gonna use it, keep the arms pressing, keep the back connected, and then bringing it all the way back down. Nice, go ahead, lengthen your legs. I'm gonna move back on my mat here. We're gonna do our roll up now. So I want you to just lengthen your arms Think about what we just did. Take your arms to the ceiling. Let the head float, float up, look towards your feet. Think about that connection that you just had and use it as you bring it up into that roll up, reaching over those legs, rolling back down. Think of that low back, then the middle, then the upper and reach. And then curling up, keep reaching those legs. And try to see if you can feel those same connections you just had and that hard, hard part right there. Push, reach those legs. Think about what you were doing when you were down on that mat with those piston legs reaching behind. And then curling up. Woo! Good, and then all the way back. Do two more. Just find a pace that works for you here. Don't worry. If you're going slower, if you're going quicker, whatever works for you. This is your work here. And then again, reaching up and over. And then all the way down. Good. Now go ahead, have both arms.
arms at your side again, and let's take your right leg up. I want you to think back to what you just did. Let's go ahead, take that right leg. I want you to lift that right hip and reach the leg across and bring it back to the center. And start paying attention to the left leg, keeping it nice and long pulling like it has a strap on it and you're just pulling it towards. The shoulders are staying connected. So what do you need to do to keep those shoulders down? And we're gonna make a circle. Across, down, back to the top. Inhaling. So all we're thinking about here is what connections do you need to keep those shoulders on the mat and that leg, your standing leg, connected. One more here and then reverse it again, keeping that connection, but letting that right hip move. But that left hip, let's just try to keep it connected. Inhale, exhale, look it straight up. I know it's tempting to watch that leg circle around. One more. Good, and bring it down. May have to readjust. Woo, tighter side, maybe. Let's take it across, kind of find your range. Think of your piston leg. As you take that leg up, what do you need to do to keep that shoulder down? Now let's take that into your circle. Across, circle, and around. Nice, inhale. Breathing through. Keeping it nice and strong. Good, really pressing those arms into your mat. One more here. We're just finding some rotation here. But again, thinking, what do I need to do to keep that right hip now? Nice and happy on that mat. And those arms, like we did with our upper back. Good, we switched directions. Did I say that? Oh, sometimes I'm horrible about that. One more. Good, and then bring it all the way down. All right, I want you to just bring your right knee in. Pull it in as tight as you can. Curl your head and shoulders up. We're gonna go into our one leg stretch. So take that left leg out. And again, think about our piston legs, where our hips are. Keep them there as you pull and switch. Keeping the same weight. What do you need to do to keep that connection there? Stay curled up, looking down towards the leg that's reaching away from you. Inhaling and exhaling. Keep breathing. Good. We have a quick connection here. So bring both knees in for our double leg. Try to stay curled up. Think about your back. As you reach the legs away, think of our piston legs. What do I need to do to keep that back as connected as my legs extend? Inhale, pull, exhale. Inhale, you got it. And exhale, nice. Keep going, we got two more here. Go as low as you can, challenge yourself today. Where can you go? One more. And bring it all the way in. Go ahead, reach those legs long. Reach your arms behind. And we're gonna, again, roll it up. And then roll it all the way back down. Two more here. Think about that back. Pull and reach in those legs. I know I'm throwing more in for you today. Think about rounding as much as you can. We'll do one more. Reaching. Reaching for your feet. And then all the way back down. And we're gonna go into our corkscrew. So arms are at our side. It's exactly like our lovely one leg circle. So reach your legs long. Again, this is a little more challenging. If you need to bend your knees, you can. How can you keep your back connected? Everything the same as you reach those legs away and reach them up towards the sky. And again, if that's too much, just bend them, take them up, whatever you need to do. Let's go ahead. We're gonna take both legs over to the right, letting that left hip lift, keeping the right down. And you're gonna circle down towards the bottom of your mat all the way to the other side. Let the right hip lift and then pull it back. Now let's go the opposite way. All over to the left. Keep reaching that top leg like you're trying to reach it past your bottom. 
and then back to the center. Keep looking straight up towards the sky if you can. And again, what do you need to do to keep now those shoulders, upper back, on that mat as these hips lift and circle to the other side and lift and pull back. Keep breathing through as you go. Good. We got one more each direction, trying to keep your head, upper back connected just as much as you did in the very beginning. And then can you keep that back where it is as you lower, 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 keep pressing, pressing, pressing all the way down. Nice, very good. Let's bend our legs, fix my socks, and we'll go into what's called our shoulder bridge. So your feet are hip width apart. You can have the heels as close as you want. Press into those legs. Feel your hips on your mat and push into both feet. Press the hips up as high as you can. Really open it up. And now think about rolling down from the top of your back, down to the bottom of your back, and releasing the hips evenly at the bottom. And then pressing back up. And then rolling it down. Trying again to keep even weight on the hips at the bottom, even weight through your upper back, so really pressing into those feet again, like we did in the pistons, only instead of one at a time, you're pressing with both, pressing and think most of it is in those feet, the arms, the upper back, the head are staying as even here as when we push up. Good, and then rolling down. You can maybe feel if there's some tightness going on, one more. You can adjust your feet if you need to. All the way down. Nice. And then go ahead, lengthen those legs. And we're gonna do another roll up. Reaching for your feet. And then all the way down. We'll do two more. Inhale. So see, as you're going now, how does this feel compared to when we first started? Is it feeling a little more connected? A little more reach of those legs, a little bit more connection through that center that maybe we got in the pistons. Huh? Yeah. All right. We're going to go into our full teaser. So this time we're going to do that roll up. We'll start it. Let the head and shoulders come up, reach those legs, lift those legs as you lift your upper body. See if you can try to touch those feet. Beautiful teaser. Now as you roll down, get that connection with that back. Reach those legs away, keep that connection all the way down. And do that again, roll up, lengthen those legs, lift them away, reach towards them. Now keep the legs there and try to roll to where that low back gets connected like our piston. And then keep that connection as you reach away. Woo, let's try one more, I know you got it in you. Roll up, reach those legs away, reach, reach, reach. Yeah. And then roll down, keep reaching the legs, reaching the legs, reaching the legs, all the way down. All right, one more roll up, here we go. Roll it up, reach, woo, is it getting a little connected, yeah? All right, let's go ahead. We're gonna go into a little variation. It's a little more Kathy Grant. We're gonna climb our tree here. So what I want you to do, again, is thinking of that connection of our upper back. Sorry, I had an itch. And let's go ahead, roll back down, and take one leg and reach it a little bit of an angle. So it's not straight up, a little bit of an angle. I want you to go ahead, curl your head and shoulders up. You've got an option here. You can kind of fire into it to rock up, but I want you to try not to pull the leg towards you. So you're gonna press into the hands as you press the leg away, and you're gonna climb up. <sighs> Give it a little pull. Keep reaching. Now think about it. I want you to bring that low back down again. Keep that connection even as you roll back down. And again, let the head and shoulders come up. Keep the connection even as you push and pull to come back up. Nice. And then all the way back down. 
keeping it even, even as best you can. We have one leg in one direction, one in the other. Last time, let the head and shoulders come up, even through that low back. Yes, as you come and then pull towards you and then we'll go all the way down. Keeping it even, keep both legs reaching long and then we're gonna switch. Remember, each side is different. So find that connection with the ground. Head and shoulders come up a little bit at an angle, kind of push and pull, push and pull, and then climbing up. It's kind of your teaser again, right? Only one leg. So you're gonna maybe wanna turn, keep everything even as you pull yourself back. And again, let the head and shoulders curl up. Push, even if it's like that, it's okay. Good. Going back to a little Kathy Grant, Kara Reeser work here with our climb a tree, curling up. And then again, push and pull yourself up. I think that's three. The more you work with me, the more you know. Counting, not my strong suit and all the way down. All right, I want you to just roll yourself again, all the way up, all the way up. All right, we are almost there. If you have a mat that's off the ground, great. It's a little bit friendlier. If not, your hands can be facing away from you to the side. Don't want the fingers facing towards you. I want your chest to be nice and open. And I want you to feel that reach of your legs. So instead of like pushing down, we did for our pistons, you're reaching and pushing away like the floor is that way. And I want you to just press into those arms, let the chest open, reach those legs away as you lift the hips evenly, look towards your feet, press into those arms, and then all the way back down. Nice. And then do that again, reaching away, lifting up, and all the way down. So now we don't have anything to support to feel our back, but see if you can think both legs again, reaching even. See if you have maybe one more weighted than the other and try to even that out. Really pushing into your arms. Do one more here. Good. And then all the way down. All right, final thing. You gotta do push-ups, right? Let's go ahead. I want you to just bring yourself to your push-up position. We're not gonna do our Pilates push-ups from standing today. I wanna to start them here. Have your hands a little forward of your shoulders and just walk your feet out. So you're in your push-up position. I want you to feel those piston legs again. Reach your heels away. Keep reaching them away. You can have your legs together, they can be slightly apart, whatever works for you and just push your floor away. And we're just gonna hold it, keep it there. Keep those heels reaching, and let's just lower your chest where you can without getting lost, and push the floor away. Inhale as you come down, and push the floor away. Your focus is really those legs reaching away at the same time. Inhale, and reach. One more. Nice, and bring it down to your knees. You can just go ahead, whatever feels good. Give it a little rest and breathe. Good job guys, really good. And then bring it all the way up. And let's go ahead. Last little bit, lay on your back. All right. Let's just take it into one more set of pistons. And I want you to see how things feel different compared to when we first started, since this is a little focus class for you today. Legs are together. Feel where you are connected on your mat. Don't force anything, just feel where everything is. Maybe it feels a little more even. Maybe it feels more connected. All right, are you ready? So go ahead. Think of lifting your heels up first. Keep the connection with your mat as you piston both legs up. Only again going where you can. If you go too far, you'll feel things get heavier in your mat. As you go down, you're gonna have to work a little harder. Remember our upper back? Remember how we kept that for our corkscrew and our one leg circle? Keep it here. The closer you get to the ground, the more you gotta connect. And let's do two more. 
lifting your heels, letting the lower leg just be nice and relaxed. Breathing through and then all the way down. Yeah, and last one, just really feel our both hips even. How about our arms or do we feel like we're going off to one side? And then all the way down. Nice. All right. Roll yourself all the way up. Nice and easy. Lengthen. Grab where you can and just give yourself a gentle pull. And back up. Great job. Awesome. So that was just a nice little focus class. And I will see you again. Enjoy your day. Bye.